Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to convert the QMK firmware to the VIO firmware. So here your starting point will be the QMK code, which typically contains config.h, rules.mk, and keymaps.c. And in the end, you will be able to use VIO to set the key mappings directly and also control the advanced uh, QMK set uh, features. Okay, in order to do that, first you need to clone the uh, VIO repo. This is the, uh, the QMK code for VIO. So I have already cloned that. And then you need to create a folder for your keyboard. For example, I'm doing this for the minivan keyboard. So I will need to generate, a, a create a folder called the van keyboard, minivan, sorry, it's under keyboards, the van keyboards, minivan, key maps, file. And then you copy over the uh, QMK files into this folder. So you can already see here, I have this stuff here. One of them might not look familiar, which is the this vial.json. This one is uh, defined for for the for vial. So if you go to this porting guide, you can either download it from this repository, or you can create it following this link. For my minivan keyboard, uh, the, the, the JSON file is already available from the repository, so I just copy that one over. Okay, then uh, you also need to change settings in the QMK code. For example, uh, get rid of the combos, uh, and also delete the macro definitions. It's probably, uh, for the macros, if you don't delete them, they will still exist with some weird names. Uh, so I just deleted them since, since you can send them later on anyways. For the combos, there might be a way to uh, not delete them, but uh, uh, I didn't uh, spend much time to figuring that out. Uh, anyways, you just delete all of the combo settings and uh, later on you, you will be able to uh, add them back in the file. Also, depending on how old your original QMK code is, you might be you might need to clean something up. Okay, for the other changes, you can basically follow this porting guide. Uh, you need to set up the VIO uh, features, VIA and the VIO features, and also uh, some keyboard set some keyboard IDs and some unlock combinations. It's very straightforward to follow that part. The real problem is, uh, in the end, at least for me, my firmware size is too big. And then uh, even if I turn on compiler optimization, it's still too big. So I have to start to delete features. For the deleting feature, there's also a, a guide for which ones to delete. You can take a look there. I will show you what I um, see from the screen. For example, um, currently uh, I'm able to fit everything in, but uh, suppose I turn on some features. Rules.m. For example, suppose if I turn on tap dance, And then when I make the this firmware, you will see it will complain. See, it says the firmware is too large. It's uh, uh, many bytes over. So then you need to decide what uh, features to turn off. For me, I don't really use tap down, so I can get rid of that. But suppose you do use tap downs, so you can get rid of other stuff. As for which ones to get rid of, there is one article about uh, about 
what features you can get rid of and how much space you can save. It's very interesting to read here, but in the end, I find uh, um, the reduction here is really small. Because the most of the reduction actually comes from, uh, most of the, the size comes from the vial features. So this vial um, uh, document is more relevant. For example, if you do want to turn, turn on tap dance, you can turn off QMK settings. So what that means is uh, you won't be able to see this tab, but you can still set everything in here directly into the uh, into either the config.h or the key maps. So, uh, so you're not losing feature, you just don't have a convenient way uh, there. You can also disable mouse or uh, disabling uh, layers. Uh, but anyways, let's say you did that. Uh, then you can just compile here. Then the, the, the st step is very similar to normal QMK. So you compare compile it here, and you will get a, a firmware. See, now it fits. So for me, I just copy it over to another place. Okay, let me just swap, swap in another keyboard. So for that keyboard, it's it's also minivan, but it doesn't have uh, doesn't have this vial support yet. So you can see here now, uh, vial doesn't recognize. It doesn't recognize this keyboard, but I can uh, fresh the firmware using the QMK toolbox. Let me do it now. If everything works, then... Okay, then we can refresh here. Now you can see this keyboard is also refreshed. Uh, it's also supported by QMK now. And at this time, I think the combo... Yeah, the combo doesn't work didn't work yet because I, I set the combo to be um, dot and H is the uh, negative sign. Also, let me see, auto shift also doesn't work. Yeah, auto shift didn't work. So now you can go here to turn on auto shift and uh, don't do it for alpha. Yeah, and then you can get the, I'm pressing the dot sign and I get the less than equal. Okay. Yeah, macro is not set, it. combo are not set, it. but you can easily set them from there. Okay, I will, uh, uh, and also if you happen to use minivan, I also made a pull request to via QMK so you can use it directly. My my um, my firmware, my original QMK firmware comes from the Trashman config configurator, and it supports the indicator light automatically. I will put uh, the links to uh, these websites uh, in the description. Okay, that's all for today. Hope this is something useful. Bye.